Now what I want to address is what's called true transfer. Any professional detailer will recognize this, or most car owners actually, that get their car in the garage, because typically this is from hitting the garage door as you go in and out of it, or the garage door frame, because it's a tight fit. This car has it on each side. Now ultimately, you do not know if it's all transfer or if it's transfer, which means that as the car went into the garage and it hit the frame of the garage, it burnished some of the white paint onto this housing. That is transfer. So you don't know what is there until you, let me put it this way, you never know what you get until you're getting it. How about that? So the point is, is the first point of entry is to figure out if it's transfer. Well, how do you do that in a simplistic way? Well, before the magic eraser, you would just use some rubbing compound or some kind of polish with some abrasives to it. But now that we have the magic eraser, the eighth one of the world, now we can cut to the chase. Okay, I'm set up here. I've got my magic eraser and my super degreaser. And once again, you are seeing this live, so I have no idea. Just based on experience, I had a clue that I felt like it was going to be 100% transfer. But you never know, and that's why I don't ever promise a customer. I just say, hey, you know what? Chances are I can do something about that. I can always improve it. I just never know how much because every scratch, every blemish, every transfer is a case by case. So if you look right there, there's a piece that did not come off. Why? Because it actually did damage, permanent damage to the housing of this mirror. But look at, bam, how easy was that? Now I can use different types of waxes. Uh, this is a hard plastic. It's molded in black. And this is why people write in, write in and they say, hey Darren, what do you use on black trim? Well, black trim comes in so many configurations. So, anyhow, that's another video. You'll figure it out in the interim, in the time being. But right now, because this is hard plastic, I can actually use a polish on it. Uh, there's a little bit of a braiding, but really not much. I can use a little bit of polish and finish it with wax if I want, or finish it with a dressing or a black trim restoration product or black trim enhancement product. It's not the, um, uh, you know, that's not the uh, point of this video. So here we are, I'm having to use a fair amount of pressure. I would say I'm using about five to eight pounds of pressure if I had to guesstimate, which I'm doing and it's enough to remove the transfer 100% without abrading the paint or the housing so much that now I've got to deal with the uh, polishing of it. This came across country from Texas, I believe, so there was some residual bugs. And this is also, you know, people talk about, I have a video on bug removal. It's like, there's many ways, you know, may, there's many roads that lead to home. Everything has its trade-offs. Um, I don't care what it is. So the idea with my bug removal on the front end was how do you get aggressive without damaging the paint? This will work, the clay bar will work, but eventually you're going to abrade the paint. I don't want to do that. So the idea of that video was to how to do it and be aggressive without doing any damage to the paint. Now right here there's a little bit of transfer from a car, who knows what. And because it's the paint and I don't want to abrade it much, I'm just going to lightly, as in just enough, like zero pounds of pressure, it wouldn't even register, just to see how much transfer I can get off, because this is actually chipped up, and I know that that would require some touch-up paint and so forth. So you can go around a car, all along here, and I don't know if it's going to show in this lighting, but all down the side, there's a certain level of just scuffs and marks. 
So before I use the clay bar, I'm just going to very lightly go across this and see how much of that is what I call transfer. And it's, uh, you know, each chore or task is meant to get you to the next task, but also keep it as a separate entity. Because when you try to take on too many tasks in one go, and I get it because that's a way to cut to the chase, uh, sometimes it becomes counterproductive. This is where experience will dictate. Um, let me zoom in here because I've got some, and once again, I'm gonna have to edit this and see what shows up and what doesn't. We've got one, two, three, four different lines, and I can tell these are from, from doors. There's actually one here that you can't see, so that would make it, I don't know, five or six. I already lost count. So once again, I don't wanna braid the paint. I just wanna take off the transfer, and because I'm using it so lightly, even if I did abrade the paint, a little hand polish, and by polish I mean, when I use the word polish, as a rule that means it's got some level of abrasives to it. So right there, there's some chips, but I just removed that quickly all the little transfer from those door dings. Okay, here we have interesting as you go around the car you just keep finding more and more stuff hopefully it's showing up there's a big mark black mark of transfer there's a long mark that goes all the way to the length of the bottom of this door panel spray my degreaser there's even a little bit of red transfer and because I'm having to press uh, more than I would like to to remove this transfer is very effective But that's the trade-off. It's like okay it abraded the paint ever so slightly and honesty and pff, Let me restate that in all honesty Most people would not be able to discern with their eye because most people do not have a very trained eye They would not even know but I know and so I'm gonna hit this with a little bit of polish but see how quick that is? If I were to do it with polish, yes, I could do it, but it would sp I would spend more time aggressively trying to polish it away. And since I already had the magic eraser out, I'm just going to cut to the chase and get it while I'm getting it with the magic eraser. And to me, that's a little more simplified approach. So uh, that's our little lesson for the day, folks. Uh, tune in until next time.